Okay, we just finished the, uh, just about finished the transfer. I just thought I'd show you how the Whirlpool worked and the screen worked. And it's just now doing the last few liters of the, uh, of the work. So that worked great. There was no issues with transfer and the temperature drop from the work chiller was fantastic. This is, you know, the end of the brew day. Uh, what uh, the biggest part of brewing is cleaning. Um, the clean and place feature of this is actually working quite well. Um, that little screen that they recommended putting in actually is of no use until you've got everything out. Um, but you can easily even um, what hops are left behind after you lift the screen out is fairly easy to flush through and out through the bottom tap into a bucket and you can rinse it quite well. Having a center drain is very handy. Um, the other types of uh, um, single use, you know, all in ones, usually have a drain like that off the side, even the old grandfather. And um, of course, then you got to tilt it and everything. This, we also got uh, more work out of this um, than you would over a normal system because as it drained, the hops packed quite and dried out quite a bit. So um, it, it was less losses, even with the huge amount of hops we had in this. Um, they have this, this is the research line, but I've also just hooked it up to, um, to the sight glass to flush it, and that works quite well. Um, I am holding it because I think if you don't, it leaks a little bit because the pump is actually quite strong. But uh, we're, we're running uh, through the work chiller as well to clean it. And I put the little screen in now so that when we drain it now, any small amount of debris that's left will be caught there and not end up in the pump and sitting there. So that's it. Uh, quite happy with it. We'll have to make some changes to make it easier and safer to, to um, once it's drained uh, after sparging to pull the, the grain bed out. Um, but it, um, we were able to, to do a much larger uh, grain bill with this unit. Um, to get a higher ABV bear. So um, at least on first use, it's, it's worked out really well and I thought of a couple things to, to improve it. Um, we're probably gonna put a quick disconnect so I can use this instead of our old work chiller with this as well. Um, and we would normally transfer with quick disconnects for everything through the pump. So, and the, and the pump was quite strong. It, it, just in summary, I think this heats much quicker than the Braumeister and uh, the built-in pump is very handy. It, it transferred very quickly. It was good. And it cooled. This cooled. We actually, once the hop stand was done, which is at 80 degrees, I went um, directly into the fermenter. And it was about two or three degrees above um, uh, ambient temperature of the, of the cooling water. So um, this being a Quebec beer, um, I, I only wanted it at 25 anyway as the, as the beginning of the fermentation. So anyhow, uh, a good brew day with it. I'm happy.